Hi there, Lester Fields here. My search for the latest USSA signal takes me to Watoga, specifically to Watoga Emergency Watoga Services. I enter the building and encounter some friendly robots for once. Deputy, what are you waiting for? There are some ghouls in here, but nothing I can't handle. I pick up a Tesla science magazine, one I've not seen before. Continuing up and up through the building, I eventually make it to the roof. There's an industrial trunk here and inside I find the source of the signal, a deep sleep routine. I give it a listen and it's mostly ambient noises. I take the item back to camp with me and talk to Sophia. It's always good to see you around, friend. Strange. Doesn't seem to be anything on this holotape at all. But it's definitely labeled as part of the Deep Sleep Project. Huh. Okay, let's think about this logically. Either this is actually a high security tape, or it's mislabeled somehow. Right? Let's uh, assume it's real for now. They used to make us listen to these whale song tapes while we were using the deep sleeper pods. So, let's see if we can dig up anything on the pods themselves. Documentation, user manuals, Dr. Bernard's designs, anything really. I believe you. I don't know why exactly, but I feel like I knew it was more than just relaxing ocean sounds. Dr. Bernard designed it to help us sleep for long periods of time and space. It clearly worked. <laughs> Maybe too well. Something just seems unsettling about the whole thing. I'll start to investigate other signals, too. I wish that whale song holotape wasn't... whatever it is. It would be soothing to listen to that right about now. Okay. Uh, I'm from Chicago. Parents moved there when I was little. After college, I went to the D.C. area and applied for the astronaut program a couple of times until I was accepted. Oh, my folks were so proud. Uh, other than that, I had a few relationships. Nothing serious. Uh, I had a pet turtle for most of my life. That was pretty serious. I, I don't know. That's the high-level overview, anyway. I I'm not a weirdo, if that was what you were asking. They're... strange. For a while, I felt like they were non-stop. But... I think it's actually a, a sharp ping, followed by... Uh, a, a moderate, dull ache. In a way... The cycle of pain is sort of fascinating. I wonder if my brain is thawing. I, I don't think that was how it worked, but... I'm not a medical doctor. Dr. Bernard would have known. He built the sleeping pod. Just whale song. Repeating. 
so pleasant. Headache sort of melted away. <sighs> this world is so peculiar, so dangerous. And I'm just amazed at the fact that life continues, you know? So how did you survive all of this? Of course, in a world with so much death, the best way to live is to cling to other life. I get it. I know that I would have been lost without you, so that makes sense. Oh, and it's a relief, too. Society will continue. The world will continue. When we have some downtime, I'm gonna rework this console to find supplies. Help people. I think we can do some good for the world. Together. Roger. Stay safe out there. And it's off to retrieve some info about the deep sleeper pods Sophia used. I will do so next time. Stay safe out there, vault dwellers, and until next time, thanks so much for watching. <laughs>